For today, we are going to practice the Sumi-Ai Asian brush style painting with just using uh, water, a brush, and the watercolor paints as practice. I made two worksheets for you. One is just strictly landscapes, while the other one is of the natural uh, animals, fish, bird, and a koi fish. So I'm just gonna start with one so you can kind of see where we're gonna do with this. And with your brush and your water cup, your brush needs to be wet, you are going to wet your brush and glide a little bit of the black paint. We are using a really small brush today so that we are able to stay within the spaces. Remember, this is just practice. So I am not looking for perfect. I am just looking for you to try your best. And I'm gonna do the flower since it's down here on the base. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna glide it down with my stem first. And when you release the pressure, you should be able to get a thinner brush stroke. And if I want it darker with that value scale, I can go back over it again to give that really nice dark black and then brush down for the stems, dip a little bit more in my water and do the leaves over here. Remember the Chinese brush painting isn't about being as accurate as realism as it is more of just the free flowing look of it. Now the flowers are much lighter. So I'm actually just gonna be using mostly water starting from the center and I'm gonna make my petal shapes. Notice I'm already going over the lines. It's no big deal at all. This is just a guideline here. Use a little bit more water. It's a little bit too dark, but I can always go back over that with some water to lighten it up. And then go back with a little bit more of a black and notice that the paint's running away from me. If that happens to you, you may get a tissue and blot it and lift it like that. It's a really good technique when you want to lift off some of your paint that you didn't like. We're just gonna give it a try, see how it goes.